Holly Madison likely won't be commenting on the passing of her ex, Hugh Hefner. The 37-year-old was the Playboy founder's number one girlfriend from 2002 to 2008. The pair stopped speaking following their split. Holly was candid about her thoughts on Hef with E.T. in recent years, including their breakup. She says in her first book that he bribed her with $3 million to stay. That situation made me feel kind of sad for Hef because I had told him that I was leaving and he was like, no, 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 they ordered another season of the show, just, you know, stay. And I had finally come to a point in my life where I realized I needed something more genuine than he was able to give me. Like, I'd woken up after seven years. I know you and Hef don't really speak much, but if you could say anything to him these days, what, what would you say? I wouldn't say anything in you. I think it's kind of odd because people ask me that all the time, like, do you still talk to him? And I'm like, Usually when people move on, they don't like talk to all their exes. <laughs> I just don't think it's appropriate. Polly's tell-all book about her time in the mansion seemingly cemented the wedge between them. Well, Hef offered me quaaludes on the first night out, and I didn't want to take any, I never did, but I saw him offer them to many girls every night we would go out for a couple of years, and I'm actually not the first person to have written about it or talked about it in the media. It's just something that has been glossed over, and writing this book was really about setting myself free. I hadn't spoken to Hef or had anything to do with Playboy in a number of years, and I wasn't doing it to get revenge or get a reaction or invite him back into my life in any way. It was more about, you know, telling women about my story. And oh, of course I have fond memories of my time there, but, you know, you move on to other things. If we were to ask you what your best memory of Hef was, what would you say? Um, I would say my best memory of the time at the mansion was shooting the TV show. I think it provided us with a lot of opportunities and, you know, we got to travel because of it and, you know, try new things. So we had fun doing that.